In today's video, we're going to run a Nest.js project using bun instead of node. So let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Marco speaking. In today's video, we're going to take the Nest.js API that we developed on a previous video, which connects to Stability AI API and Stable Diffusion and run it using bun instead of node. Okay, great. So this is how the project is going to work. First, we're going to set up the first machine on EC2. We're going to call it machine one. So on machine one, we're going to install Node.js and Yarn. So on machine one, we're going to clone the Git repository, which contains the Nest.js codebase that we developed previously on the previous video which connects to Stability AI API and generate AI images using Stable Diffusion. So we're going to clone this repository on machine one, and then we're going, we're going to build the project to generate the node modules folder and the dist folder. And then we're going to zip the entire content for the project, including the node modules and the dist folder. After doing this, we're going to set up a second machine on EC2, which only contains bun installed. It does not contain node and yarn, only bun. After doing this, we're going to send the zipped file, the zipped project from machine one to machine two. And then on machine two, we're going to unzip the project and then run the project and test it using machine 2 and bun. So let's do this. One thing which is important to mention is that I could not use only bun with machine 2. I had to build the project with machine 1 using node and yarn because when I tried to build the project using only bun, some dependencies between some files got broken. So this is why machine 1 was required. But before we proceed, if you like this kind of content, just give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about Node.js, Nest.js and software engineering. And never forget that the more learn and practice you have, the better you become and more value you can provide. So let's do this. Okay, great. So here we are on EC2 console. So here we have the two machines that we mentioned before. The machine one with which has Node.js installed and machine two with bun installed. So let's SSH into the machines for checking its internal contents. So I'm gonna click here to connect. I'm gonna use SSH and then I'm going to open the terminal for it. Okay, perfect. So here I'm gonna paste the command suggested by AWS. Okay, great. So here we are connected on the first machine. I already installed node here. So if I do node dash dash version, you can see that we have node.js installed. And if I do yarn dash dash version, we also have yarn installed. Perfect. Let's go back to the browser. So besides this, this is the project that we're going to use. This is the Nest.js and Stable Diffusion API data that I created previously. So if you want to learn how to create a REST API with Nest.js and Stable Diffusion with Stability AI API, I'm going to attach to the link in the video description or on the right side for you to see it. So I'm going to clone the project. Let's go back to the terminal. Do Actually, I'm going to create a folder here, make directory project. So let's enter into this folder. And, and again, if I do here bun dash dash version, you can see that this machine doesn't have bun installed on the node for now. So if I do git clone, then I paste it here. Now we have the project cloned. Let's get into the, the folder. Let's install all the dependencies, yarn install. Okay, perfect. After a few seconds, 
the dependencies were installed for the project. So now, let me do something else. We need to set up the .env file with the stability AI API key. So I'm going to create the touch.env and then let's get into the file and insert the API key. Let's go back and save it. Perfect. So now if I do yarn start and dev to build the dist folder first. Okay, perfect. So here we have the Nest.js project that connects to Stability AI and Stable Diffusion using Node.js and Nest. Now let's zip this project and send the zipped content to a machine which only have bun installed. So for doing this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to zip the contents. Zip minus R. I'm going to call it zipped project dot zip and then I'm going to zip everything here. Okay, perfect. After a few seconds, we can see that we have this zipped project file here. So right now, what we're going to do, we're going to send the zipped file from machine one, which contains node and yarn to machine two, which only contains bun installed. So I prepared a, some shell script commands to do this, which are these one. So we're going to use the secure copy protocol to send the zipped project.zip file from machine one to machine two. The first thing that we're going to do is to copy this zipped file from machine one to my local machine. And then from my local machine to machine two. So let's do this. I'm going to copy this command. So I'm going to close here the SSH command. I'm going to clear, paste it here. Okay, great. After a few minutes, the, the zipped project was copied from machine one to my local machine. Now let's send this file from machine from my local machine to machine two. So this is the command that I, that I prepared. It's, it's the same secure copy protocol, but now it's going to be from my local machine, this zipped project from my local machine to machine two. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Okay, perfect. Now let's connect to machine two and run the project there. So this is the SSH command to machine two. I'm gonna paste it here. And that's it. Now we are connected to machine two. So if I do here node dash dash version, you can see that we don't have node installed here. And if I also try to do yarn dash dash version, I also don't have yarn installed, but if I try to do bun dash dash version, you can see that I have bun 1.0.11 here installed. Perfect. Now I'm going to create a folder here, make directory, I'm going to call it project. So I'm going to copy the zipped project from the current folder to the project folder. And then let's enter the project folder, clear the terminal, and unzip this file, zipped project.zip. Perfect. Let's clear this. But now here's the thing. Because of the issues that I had before, I'm going to run the project directly from this folder. So what we actually need, it's only the distribution folder and the node modules. We don't need the source code for running this because I'm going to do bun run dist main.js. So here we are running the nest.js project directly from the dist folder and the main.js file. Perfect. Now let's test this project. 
Okay, great. So here we are running our Nest.js project, which connects to Stability AI, generates an, an AI image with stable diffusion and return to us using HTTP. So the project is using bun instead of node. So let's make some experiment. So here I have Postman and we're going to make a request to this machine. So this is machine two with bun. So this is the public IP. And then let's create a request here on Postman. So let me double check the code because I don't remember how to connect to it, how to make the request. So let's check on the code. So this is the code, source code. And then this is the stable diffusion integration, the controller. So it's a post method and this is the path. Stable diffusion integration. So this is what we need to pass to Postman. HTTP and the IP to the machine. Let's copy this again. Go back to Postman. Copy this. Actually, on port 3000. Paste this here, switch this to post, and then on the body, we need to pass the prompt. Let me double check. So this is the object generate image DTO. So let's see this. So we only need to pass the prompt on the body. So, so the prompt. Uh, it can be anything. I'm gonna say a dog reading a book in the library. Anything that comes into your mind. So let's try this. I'm gonna send the command. Perfect. As you can see, we have a dog reading a book in the library. And we see here that we have this log message which means that everything worked successfully. And as you can see, we are manipulating the file system using bun and making HTTP requests. Because if you take a look into the code, you will see that we have this file you choose here, which manipulates the file system using node. And so you can see that bun could handle this really well. And that's it. As you can see, Bond worked successfully to our Nest.js and Stable Diffusion integration. So, these are my final considerations after doing this project. First, the project worked flawlessly and, and could even use the file system packages on Machine 2 using Bond, which is really good. It shows the power and compatibility between Bond and Node.js. Second, based on my experiments, I still could not replace Node.js completely with Bun because the build process failed for me when I tried to build and generate the Node modules only using Bun. Maybe this is something that can be adjusted with some configurations. If you know how to fix this problem, let me know in the comment section, please. Third, Bun still needs be tested on large code bases because as you've seen this is a small project and everything worked flawlessly on this small code base but what happens is if you try to use bun on a large code base with hundreds or even thousands of users using it is it going to be stable just like my project i don't know four bun seems to be really promising Will it actually replace Node? I believe only time will tell us. I hope you liked it, and I see you in the next time.